viewers and welcome to another vlog and as you can see from the array of very big roller coasters today we're at Falk Park in Chertsey been planned for a long long time this one uh, courtesy of the Sun Savers uh, promotion I will be joined by my good friend Dan at around 12 o'clock so uh, it gives me about an hour and a half to uh, be left to my own devices really So anyway, as I said, no filming today, uh, got to respect that, uh, but there'll be plenty of off-ride action, also a lot of information about the various roller coasters and rides here today. We've got the sunshine, the park's not too bad, not too bad, I've seen uh, parks worse, I can't say I've seen this park worse because it's the first time I've been here. But yeah, nice to... Uh, get sort of complete the uh, the Merlin triple never really class Lego landers anything special I'll just walk past that because it is quite loud so there you've got the water rapids so I'm going to try and find something half interesting to uh, tell you about don't want to be doing too much walking, just a lot of uh, off-ride and informing you about the different rides here and everything. There goes Stealth. 210 feet I think that goes. Yeah. So yeah, so I'll turn the camera off for the time being uh, while I determined what I'm actually going to do. Uh, just get a bit of a feel for the place, where everything is, what the queue lines are going to be like and uh, we'll get back on air. But yeah, Fort Park Church uh, in Surrey. Just see the top of Nemesis Inf Inferno there. Pretty obvious that we're going to go for this one first. Pacoma Greatness used to be X, uh, re themed now to The Walking Dead. May as well give this a go. Five minutes uh, waiting time. Uh, Nelly Inferno's on 45 minutes, so so yeah, thought I'd uh, give this a blast first. I think I've come down the wrong uh, queue here, but oh well, I can always walk back. Yeah, um, five minutes, so no brainer really. Nemo Inferno looks amazing, it really really does. Will it will it be as good as Infusion? I don't know. But yeah, we um, try and get the right queue line this time. Um, try and get you some uh, effects going down towards the ride anyway and uh, yeah, so it doesn't look too bad this at all, so uh, may as well give it a blast. So yeah, turn you off for the minute, get back to you very shortly. Yeah, a bit disappointed with that really. Uh, for an enclosed roller coaster, I've got to say the one at Breen, Astro Storm, is a lot better. Um, it was alright, it wasn't particularly bad, but it just weren't that thrilling either. Um, some of the effects were all right in there shame i couldn't get i was get much for you because i had to drop me uh my bag at the bag store but uh, uh yeah probably worse for coma i've been on um so yeah weren't, weren't that good anyway i might go and queue up now for uh, nemi inferno it was on a 45 minute wait as i said earlier i might have a look at swarm so yeah Great view of things there. You've got B and M Swarm. The, uh, the look, that looks a soaker and off. The log flume and then Intamin Stealth. Drop tower just behind there. Detonator. And then you've got that junk. You won't get me on that. So yeah, I'm going to make my way back to Nemi Inferno and um, wait it out, I think. Unless I look at the queue line board and something's on a on a less queue line. Um, that might be uh, that might be my next move. But yeah, Nemi Inferno does look pretty 
pretty amazing. See if it's better than the SLCs. Doubt it. Well, actually, flying fishers on five minutes is Mac Power Coaster. Well, I should go for this. I'm walking past it. Just be real not to uh, to do it. Five minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'll uh, get back to you uh, after the ride. So some notifications there. Goodness. Yeah, flying fish. Fun little ride actually. Mac Powered, as I said, opened in 1982. What a year. Before uh, reopening as Flying Fish in 2007, it was uh, Space Station Zero, I think. Uh, before Stealth made way, uh, well, sorry, that made way for Stealth. And it became. Uh, fish you can see the top of the uh, stealth uh, sorry the swarm there dive loop yeah bit of off ride for you there so um, yeah anyway you probably heard um, while I was in the queue line there the uh, the ride up well, I'm actually walking past now shout put it away please now I don't know if that was me or somebody was actually filming on the ride with a phone tut tut don't agree with it. If, if I were going to do anything sneaky, I'd have had the chest harness on me today. Um, certainly don't um, agree with uh, anything like that. So um, hopefully it weren't me, but uh, uh, try to get you a bit off the ride wherever I can. Uh, getting, uh, getting in trouble without getting in trouble. So, uh, so yeah. Right, I'm going to try and find Nemesis Inferno. As I say, it's the first time I've been here, so I'm. Uh, walking around aimlessly. About half hour Dan will be here, so uh, I don't really want to be in a long queue and then Dan arrive. Uh, sort of defeats the object a bit really, so um, so yeah, I'm gonna find them in Inferno and uh, queue up for that I think. Hopefully it's not going to be too long wait. Uh, but yeah, it's not too bad, it's clouded over a little bit. The park's moderately alright, it's not overly busy at all. Uh, yeah, it's over there. So um, I'm going to uh, queue up for this and uh, wait for Dan, and uh, yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get back. Yeah, awesome ride. Better than Infusion. Better than Infusion at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I can't say it's better than uh, Jubilee Odyssey, unfortunately. It, it's, it's a good coaster, though. Um, my first B&M. So, uh, anyway, a bit of history about that. Opened in 2003 as um, Nemesis Inferno. And um, possibly cost um, 20 million to build. Pulls at 4.5G, the same as Infusion and um, yeah 50 mile an hour again the same as infusion so um so anyway i'm going to show you a bit of the gift shop while i'm uh, just walking through here hopefully i'll have dan waiting for me somewhere don't know um I'm, he might have rung me while i'm on the ride but yeah yeah i think i'm definitely going to get something related to uh Nemi. a fridge magnet or something well uh, yeah something i'll have it be a fridge magnet to be honest with you. But yeah, I mean, advertising a 75 minute queue, about 60 minutes to be honest with you. Uh, you've got the pirate ship there, may as well just do a, a little bit of walking around, get the detonator coming back down if I can. One for you, Dan. Certainly not one for me. Just get in there. 
very very quickly in between the uh, the loop of the uh, Nemi Inferno I do drop towers. I don't know if I've told you. I might have told you uh, that might be the 10th for, 10th for 11th time, whatever. So yeah, so you've got the lift straight into the uh, the loop. A couple of inline twists as well. In fact, I'll do a bit of off-ride while I'm here. Yeah, 95 foot drop. underneath it into the loop and you've got a couple of inline twists and a few other bits and bobs bit of an elix there you are so all right i'm going to go and find dan because uh, he might be waiting for me and uh, i don't want him keeping hanging on i definitely think a, a trip to the loo is in order and um, yeah, I'll try and get you a bit of the gift shot walking out. The Walking Dead, now that was down. Um, so Darren Brown's ghost train as well. We've got the shot there and everything. Yeah, I'm going to switch the camera off for the minute and locate Dan and uh, yeah, we'll consider his next move. Maybe Swarm, it's up to him really, whatever's uh, on a short queue line, it won't be stealth. So there's the, uh, the other B&M there. Uh, Goodness. Try and get you a bit of off ride on uh, Colossus later on as well. We just seem to be uh, in this side of the park. That looks real fun, that does. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, awesome. See, through the inline twists and everything, you get, it's, it's really good, it's, uh, yeah, really good. Arm brakes, yeah, Some in stealth as you can see 205 feet just behind the big one at uh, Blackpool in terms of altitude it is I believe the quickest coaster or it might be joint quickest with uh, the big one at Blackpool anyway glad to, uh, glad to announce Danny's with us now um, all the way from uh, where is it Richmond where, where were you today Richmond yeah yeah so um, anyway, he's come up with the uh, genius plan of getting some fast tracks. As I said, the um, oh, a little bit of uh, Beach Boys while we're walking around, it's like being back on Wipeout. Uh, uh, so yeah, um, so the, the ride times for the uh, Nemi Inferno it was slightly off, but, but yeah, we... Um, bit, uh, another one of uh, Swarm. The B and M wing coaster. So yeah, so we're going to sort out some fast tracks. Um, there you go. Hey, we'll sort out some fast tracks, and um, we'll uh, put you back on, as it were. The very, very tall stealth art. Fort Park Chertsey. Yeah, Mr. Monkey's banana ride. Uh, little pirate ship, nothing sparkling. Right, um, we're ready to go. If you can see that, got the uh, adrenaline fast track. Uh, it's actually forty-five pound because it's um, still peak season while tomorrow. Oh well, it's um, one of them things. But like Dan says, and uh, rightly so. It doesn't cost us anything to get in, so you just sort of may as well pay it, you know, and 
And like I said to him, once we've done them, uh, we can have a few re-rides here and there. So yeah, you've got the uh, the inline twist of the uh, Nemi Inferno there. The stealth. Don't worry, saw is coming. We, I haven't been actually anywhere near saw yet. Uh, I've, I've just seemed to have been in this area of the park. Um, so there you are, you can probably just see that zombie hunt. Yeah, I mean, it's advertising a 70 minute, but I mean, that could be lying again, but we're straight in and um, as I said, we can try and do some re-rides, a few other bits and bobs. Just makes the day a little bit more enjoyable and go then. Took the toll fast track. Right, switch off for a minute while we have a re-ride on this, well Dan's first ride and um, yeah we'll, uh, we'll be right back. Yeah, to show you a bit of theming in the queue line. We've got all the rocks and everything. the coaster over there. Tidal wave. It is tidal wave, isn't it? Yeah, definite soaker that one. <laughs> <It's skin. laughs> yeah, I haven't been this wet since Valhalla. Um, yeah, he, uh, Dan just says, uh, uh, yeah, he's a bit of a soaker and everything, yeah, uh, uh, but yeah, quality rides, to be honest with you, it's, um, my, my feet aren't too bad, because as the, um, as the boat went up the lift hill, I managed to get my feet out of the way before it all obviously descended towards the back and everything, so. I didn't. No, well, yeah, uh, uh I thought you might have done that actually, so uh, it's alright, we'll, we'll, we'll just say, uh, yeah, dry off a little bit. So anyway, I think we're heading over towards Swarm, I think, is that the plan we're heading? Yeah. Yeah. Um, as I said, I still haven't seen Saw yet, it's, um, um, have a wander down there. Yeah, get a poncho, do, do yourself a favour and definitely get a poncho for that one. Anyway, just heading back into Angry Birds land, so I'm going to turn you off for the minute and uh, yeah, we'll try and locate Swarm and uh, we'll do a bit of a review on that ride and also a uh, bit of off ride as well maybe, we'll see how. Yeah, one awesome coaster that. And as you can see, the theming down here, the theming down here is second to none. Yeah, a bit of a bit of an head chopper there as well. So you've got the old, um, what is it that police van? Got the uh, the aeroplane. People who know me you know I'm into my aeroplanes, so that's good. You've got various head chopper elements on there. You've got five different inversion elements on there. Yeah, it's awesome. Really good roller coaster. Been around uh, since 2012, so it's uh, uh, six years old now. To say, obviously, you've got the drop there, the, the dive drop there into the um, into the zero G roll, and then just a bit further around. Obviously, you've got the corkscrew and everything. But yeah, I mean, the area here, Dan's just actually mentioned it, is really, really well themed. Anybody who's into the theming and everything, yeah, I don't think there's, well, I might, I might actually change my mind once I get round to Saw, but I don't think there's any better theme ride. You've got the uh, phone box there and everything. Um, I'm gonna have a quick look at the um, 
merch shop, shall we? You can have a look in there. And then I say the um, we'll have a walk down to his next coaster. But yeah, Swarm, very very good ride. I'll just show you the uh, the A380 also going over. As people probably know, we're very very close to Heathrow here. So yeah, you've got the big girl down there. So just coming through the corkscrews now into the quad hotline rolls. So yeah. Into my ride. So, so then, is it, is it is it about that way? So, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Second Euro fighter. I'm sure you're much a short of <laughs> so. So you've got the samurai there, unfortunately that doesn't look like it's working. It's certainly not operating. Yeah, good head chopper element on here as well as you go down the uh, vertical drop. But I'll just keep the camera rolling. time hill and outside so yeah that's going to be our next protocol so the ride Gertzlauer Eurofighter Custom I was showing at it its best. <sighs> Regarding Euro fighters that I've done, that one and uh, Rage at South End, I've got to say, I've got to say, Rage is better. It's, it's an odd choice. I do like the uh, Colossus. Yeah, I do. Um, I do like the indoor bit with the inline tree of a bit of a vertical drop, then the inline twist into the uh, vertical lift hill, which I don't mind vertical lifts. Um, but I, I don't know. I think that, I've just been saying to Dan. I think the um, I think Rage. I don't know. You seem to get a bit more exhilaration about it. Uh, I mean, that's 12 mile, 12 mile an hour faster, and it's uh, 30. I think it's 30 feet taller. But again, I, just, I don't know. I, I preferred Rage. Anyway, you might be thinking. Ah, oh, well, what about um, speed? No limits at Oakwood. It is coming to the channel. It'll be coming in October. I have booked the accommodation in Swansea for two nights, forty pound uh, a night. So uh, I will be getting in touch with Oakwood regarding doing POVs and uh, on part filming there and everything. But but yeah, my four foot well four five six coast credits are, are done. Um, I am backing out of stealth. There's a few people who've actually watched this channel know that I used to be absolutely terrified of roller coasters, and um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I've, I've done what I wanted to do, I've enjoyed it and everything. However, Dan will be doing it. I will get off ride of, uh, of, of Dan's train and uh, do a little bit of off ride. I think that'll look good uh, for the vlog. So, um, anyway, I may as well do a little bit of advertising. So, you've got your fright nights there. Yeah, the, uh, the poo. Yeah, it's not often I come on here and slag off the Kuma roller coaster off, but it was all right. But when, like I was saying to Dan earlier, when you're saying that, that a 1984 ride at Breen is better, that's my view anyway. And, you know, everyone's different. Everyone's got different thrills and spills in this game, and everyone likes different roller coasters. So. 
Yeah, I've got to decide at some point what, what my favourite is. Yeah, I think it's going to be an odd choice today. It's like, oh, go to Blackpool Pleasure Beach and, oh, I love Infusion. Oh, I'll go to um, Fancy Island. Oh, my favourite roller coaster there is Millennium. I'll go to uh, South End, my favourite roller coaster there is Rage. This is actually going to be a really, really, really odd choice um, regarding. Um, yeah, so there you are, Nemesis, Nemesis Inferno. Just going up the lift hill there, 95 foot. So yeah, I'm um, going to switch the camera off. We're going to head to stealth, get down on stealth. There you are, cheers. And um, yeah, do some off ride on there, get down there. Yeah, that's an, that's awesome. I don't know. I'll the, the winner will, will both decide his favourite rides and everything. The best part of the day and everything later on when we're leaving the park. But uh, uh, but yeah, um, been a cracking day. Uh, just so I don't forget, and I, I, I do forget, with this, Rob does forget, I'd just like to thank Dan for his great company today. Doing these sort of things with a friend, especially a good friend like Dan, you know, it does make the day just so much better. And it was his idea to get the fast pass. It's like 45 quid for, well, originally said 25, and it was like 45, well, one day off um, getting the off peak rate and everything. But no, it's it's been well worth it. It's been, been amazing. And when you come, we're a good friend or company and everything. Obviously, I do the part, a lot of park vlogs on my own. And it's fun and I enjoy doing them. But there you've got Darren Brown's poo train over there. You've, yeah, I'll do it if I'm, I'm certainly not. I'm not waiting 70 minutes. Forget that idea. So uh, we're going to go and find this um, this Intamin Hypercoaster. So I'll just do a bit of thing, you've got the donut compound here, you've got different things going on and I was actually in the shop earlier and uh, Dan very kindly bought me one of the sort of like sweetie sort of like string things and then just to the side of that was like an old pick and mix and it was like fr fried eggs, I feel like I'm back, I'm back at Pleasurewood Hills um, yeah, um, really really good, it's like all different things sugar fizzy coca-cola bottles things like that it was just like being a kid again which i think some people uh, probably argue that I'm, i am still a kid anyway yeah tidal wave oh is that tidal wave yeah yeah prepare to get wet that's actually on a 20 minute queue now but yeah awesome water ride very very wet water ride yeah, this one's for you, Dan. This is your off-ride. Okay, they're coming around the corner, around the bend here. Days. Yeah, I apologise. That wasn't actually Dan's train. I've got to now tell him. But he's, he's going to do the ride review. I'll, I'll give him that uh, uh, that accolade. And here he is. Sorry, mate. I've videoed the wrong train. I'm really, really sorry. So, uh, so anyway, then review. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think you'd love it. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. I'm not just saying that. No. 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 No, because I saw you go forward and I thought, oh, this is his train, this is his train. I shot down here, obviously stuck the camera on and everything. And, uh, but yeah, so there you go, amazing. One, one day. Yeah, Intamin Metals, or oh, Intamin Steels. Da, 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 cheer up sleepy jean yeah i mean a, a couple of corrections as well i always like to try and correct myself where where i'm wrong it, it is actually faster than the big one by six miles an hour uh, but it is slightly slightly um shorter in distance i think the big one's 210 foot you can see that's 205 foot um so yeah Right, we're going to find something else to go on.
nearly as tall as the big one. And we'll be back shortly. Awesome ride. BM Wing Coaster Swarm. Yeah, just for you, to show you the merchandise shop as uh, as we're leaving. So you've got various hoodies there and everything. You've got the uh, the cups, all Nemesis Inferno, different trophies, pens. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. different merch yeah so all your trophies and everything yeah fridge magnets I do have one of them before anybody asks you sweetie bit anyway conclude things as we're leaving the park yeah Well, that's Fort Park then. Been, as it says, exhilarating day. Uh, four coaster, well, four, five, six coaster credits for me today. Same, same for Dan. So, uh, oh no, you're five, weren't you? Because you didn't get on the. Uh, we weren't missing much. Walking Dead. Uh, ride, ride of the day for me. Nemesis Inferno. Ride of the day for you, mate. Been switching up. Such an odd decision, such an odd decision. I was saying to Dan actually uh, while we're on Swarm, the, the four main rides there, the four main coasters, I didn't do Swarm, uh, Stealth obviously, but the four inversion ones, I don't think I've actually won bad one. Uh, anyway, uh, moment, of the, moment of the day. Quite indecisive. I wasn't expecting these questions. No, it's like it's like me being back doing me voluntary football journalism. Possibly, possibly so. In possibly the, uh, so. In the no, dark okay. Where you go down. Well, for me, it's in, been enjoying the company of you all day. Pleasure as always. Yeah, it's it's been amazing. As I said, Saturday I will be at Fantasy Island, but there's nothing planned for that unless certain people are in on certain rides and that's all I'm going to say um, I'm not going to do any shout outs to embarrass anyone um, but uh, um, but yeah uh, if there's something that goes on what I might do is put out my wipeout POVs from uh, Pleasurewood Hills on there as well yeah another plane you could probably might just see that going into Heathrow there for me Heathrow not so far away the dream of planes and roller coasters all under one roof well you know what i mean <laughs> so uh, so yeah um anyway thank you for watching as ever uh please subscribe comment like hopefully any feedback on anything 
Captain has uh, you know all my details on me about if you want to contact me on email Instagram any of that follow me on Instagram it's all on there so for now from Chertsey in Surrey it's Chirral for now see you in the next one